the emulation scene has allowed younger generations of gamers access to the vast libraries of retro gaming without asking them to invest serious bank. You can get a SNES emulator on anything these days, but most of us already carry our smartphone and tablets with us everywhere, so that's the obvious go-to device. The trouble is that 20 years ago, these games were designed to be played with a controller. If you just want to blast some old games on the bus or whilst having a cheeky extended break on the cars at work, you don't want to be messing around with touch controls that the non-haptic screen just can't deliver. If you don't have a MOGA or SteelSeries controller or a PS3 pad in your pocket, you can forget about playing Street Fighter on the bog. We've put together five of the best SNES games we think you can get the most out of on your phone or tablet. We're kicking off our list with Kirby's Dream Course, purely because it's the simplest, most casual game we can remember playing on the SNES. Nice easy controls, simple gameplay, and a relaxing slow pace make the Dream Course an easy choice when finding SNES games that play well on a touchscreen. Plus, it's Kirby and it's a golf game all rolled into one. There's a double header starting you off right there. As soon as we started making this list, we knew RPGs were going to be an easy choice, as they're mostly turn-based. But we didn't want to make this whole video about RPGs, especially considering the SNES has about 12 million of the damn things. Even narrowing down one RPG from that library was tough, and as much as I love Shadowrun, that would suck on the touchscreen. No, we chose Chrono Trigger, because it really feels like it almost benefits from the touchscreen interface. The music, the pacing, that generous difficulty curve, everything about Chrono Trigger is basically made for a touch Screen. Another genre that gets a good innings on the SNES is the scrolling beat em up. Final Fight, Knights of the Round, Double Dragon, Spider Man, they all get a look in. Sat amongst these otherwise pretty tough titles, though, sits Turtles in Time. This game is cake, but it's still super fun. Choose your favourite hero in a half shell and kick Foot Soldier Tail over 10 different time periods. Due to its relative ease, Turtles in Time is a good launch pad for getting used to the touchscreen before you pick up harder games, like Battletoads. We wanted to try and have at least one slightly hardcore game on this list. Seriously though, Super Pro Protector is hard enough and I don't even want to imagine playing Super Star Wars on a touchscreen. Considering the SNES has a wicked catalogue of shmups, and my main man Raph here has a bit of a penchant, we struggled through a long number of titles before we settled on Pop and Twinbee. That's right, whilst it's not the most hardcore shooter on the SNES, we thought that the super cute style, trimmed down gameplay and the wicked graphics set Pop and Twinbee apart from its contemporaries, and so it gets our official seal of approval. Ding! To be the top rated game on this list, a game has to be excellent to look at, easy to play on a touchscreen, but crucially needs to be a good game first. It's a case of Disney to the rescue here, as we choose the excellent Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. We put together a best of the old school Disney games not long back and World of Illusion beat this game onto that list. Truly though, this is a classic Disney game that is certain to get played time and again. All the magic expected in a Disney game and no chore to play on a touchscreen, Magical Quest was the obvious choice for best SNES game on a touchscreen. Whilst we try to highlight five games that you might not find by yourself, it goes without saying that the SNES has arguably the best library of games of any retro console. There are a ton of games that are outrageously fun to play and should work really well on a tablet. We couldn't list them all, but here's a bunch of those now. If you can think of any we've not mentioned, feel free to drop a comment below and let us know. Bye-bye. Cheers.